Are you grudgingly counting down to Fridays? Or are you waking up happy on Mondays? You have a choice. Are you telling yourself that you're too busy to take care of your health and happiness right now? You have a choice. Are you willing to stand up for your dreams, goals, and desires? Fellow Toastmasters and guests, again, you have a choice. When I was growing up, I remember I started singing karaoke with my parents in Hong Kong since I was 10 years old. Then, when I was studying at UC Berkeley, one day I saw a poster for a school talent show at the Clark Kerr dormitories. To prepare, I started watching music videos from Ricky Martin, and one of the songs, She Bangs, had a unique catchy tune that I couldn't resist. I took my chance, I tried, and somehow, I won. The grand prize was a DVD player. <laughs> a few days later, I heard on Fox News that American Idol auditions would be coming over to San Francisco. I knew I wanted to audition, but I couldn't tell anyone, especially my Asian parents. <laughs> Could you guess why? What did you think my Asian parents want me to be? A doctor. A doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, anything but an entertainer. <laughs> Fortunately, I came up with a brilliant solution. <laughs> I secretly went to audition, and I found myself standing in line with thousands of other people at a huge baseball park. As I was waiting in line, I saw how hundreds of people only got 15 to 30 seconds to sing before they were told to go home. Yet, surprisingly, they let me through. They called me to come back the next day. The next day, I auditioned again in front of the producers, and they seemed excited and they let me through again. By this point, there's only about 100 people left. And when it was my turn, I found myself standing in front of Randy Jackson, Paula Abdul, and Simon Cow. <laughs> From the outset, I knew that Paula was probably very nice, but Simon can be very mean. I didn't know what to expect. As soon as I began my audition, Randy held a white sheet of paper to cough up his face and giggled throughout the entire audition. Paula was staring intently at me, but Simon was frowning. <laughs> I kept trying to entertain them. She faints! She faints! Oh baby, when she moves, she moves! I go crazy! But Simon stopped me at the middle of my chorus and said, Thank you, thank you. You can't sing, you can't dance, so what I want to say? At that moment, I had a choice. Did I want to be angry and upset like most of other people? Or did I want to be positive and perhaps set a different example? At that moment, one thought came to me in my head. My mom taught me. It's okay to fail as long as you try your best. Then I responded, I already gave my best. I have no regrets at all. Paula said, good for you. That's the best attitude yet. I said, I had no professional training. And Simon goes, no, this is a surprise of century. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I thought that was the end of the road and my life returned to normal. Four months later, I saw myself on TV again, right after the night Fox broadcasted my audition on Fox News. Newscaster John Pierce said, William Hung is the worst singer ever. <laughs> I have to make another difficult choice. Do I want to live my life with courage? Or do I want to hide myself in fear and hope that people will forget about me? 
the next day, I try to return to class, pretend nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> then, one of my civil engineering professors decided to show my audition in front of hundreds of students. And afterwards, I was marked for pictures and autographs. <laughs> and I asked my professor, why did you do this? And he said, I want your fans too. Who knew? <laughs> I could not believe all this happened overnight. And then hundreds of emails came in for performance and interview opportunities. And then I even landed a record contract. But throughout these years, people tell me this happened because of one choice I made, the decision to remain positive despite of criticism. Now how about you? Are you ready to turn your failures into success? Are you ready to turn your negatives into positives? Are you ready to take ownership of your dreams, goals, and desires? If you are, take that next step forward because you can become a champion in people's hearts and the world needs you. Thanks. Some of us know the story, but we don't know all the specific details.